Hey soldiers, let's talk about the online savings account Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Now, uh, Goldman Sachs is a really big deal in finance, very reputable name out there in the business, well-capitalized company. Uh, but let's first talk about what a savings account is for. Now, it's not to make money. Savings accounts are places where you hold money for purposes we'll discuss in a moment. But Banks want you to put money in a savings account because banks then loan that money out to people for home mortgages, for business loans, car loans, and credit cards. Now, as we look at Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo right now on their platinum savings account, they're offering on balances under $100,000, they're offering a 0.25% percent uh, interest rate, okay? And you might say, wow, that's not a lot at all. In fact, it, you're right, it's not. Let's employ the rule of 72 to look at exactly how hard your money is working at 0.25% of a standard interest rate. All right, so we go ahead and we take 72 and then we divide that by our interest rate. Again, in this case, it's a 0.25%. And we come up with 288. What does that stand for? Well, that's the time it will take in years for your money to double. So if you put $100,000 into a Wells Fargo Platinum Savings Account today, they will pay you 0.25% and it will take your money 288 years to double. So you, your children, and your grandchildren will probably not be here unless you are you know a vampire or a werewolf or something like that uh, so that money's not working hard at all even though a savings account is not meant to make you money you do want it to work harder than that when it is sitting somewhere available to you at a moment's notice Savings accounts are pretty much the way we should be thinking about them is in terms of emergency funding. So let's say you get, you're riding down the road and something happens, four flat tires. What an inconvenience. So you got to go, you got to put four brand new tires on your car. Sure, you might whip out a credit card right then and there to make this happen quickly. But then what you want to do is you want to be able to pay that off within the 30-day cycle so that you won't incur interest charges, thereby making the four tires even more expensive than they already were, right? So since you don't want to incur interest, you pay that off in the 30-day cycle. That's where your savings account comes in. It has an emergency component to allow you to address opportunities to address, you know, challenges quickly, okay, and not incur interest. That's one of the major functions of a savings account. Helps you uh, cut down on those interest, high interest credit card uh, rates. Now, so we, we, we figured that out. So we know we got to, even though the money is just sitting there waiting on an emergency to occur, what can we do to possibly get a better interest rate than you know, less than 1%. And mind you, this is their platinum savings account in a rising interest rate environment. Now, sure, it does get better if you put more money in the bank. If you're willing to put half a million dollars into a Wells Fargo platinum check uh, savings account, they'll give you a whole whopping 1%. So you put the, you know, half a million dollars in there, 72 divided by one is 72. So the money turns into a million dollars in 72 years. Big whoop. So, okay, how can we uh, do better than that? All right, we need to look at an online bank. One of the things about Wells Fargo is you see them everywhere. So they've got to pay mortgages on the building. They've got to pay insurance. They've got to pay employees to come into the building. They've got to pay security. Uh, all of these things, they've got to pay gas and electric. They've got to heat the place in the winter, cool it in the summer. All of these things impact the bottom line. So they're not able to give you a uh, higher interest rate because they have expenses. So let's look at another category, the online bank. Now, Marcus by Goldman Sachs is 
an online bank. And you might be wondering, well, who's Marcus? Marcus Goldman was actually the founder, uh, one of the founders of the what we know of as Goldman Sachs. So that's where they're getting the name. Goldman Sachs is over 150 years old. They've been out there for a long, long time. Uh, they launched this Marcus online savings account in 2016. It's officially known by Marcus, known as rather Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Uh, and it's online only. Now, they offer a lot of products. They have really matured since 2016 when they came out with just a uh, plain Jane savings account. I want to stop right here and remind you, this is not sponsored content. Uh, Marcus by Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs, none of them are sponsoring me, although I would be open to that uh, if uh, they want to do that. So, hey, Goldman Sachs, if you see this video, let's talk. I'm not guaranteeing you anything, Mark uh, Goldman Sachs, but uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, subscribe also, uh, you Goldman Sachs employees and executives. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Now, uh, what is this service offer? Uh, well, it offers the savings account. It offers, now they've got uh, CDs and they've got loans and uh, they're going to be offering a credit card as well. So they've got like a kind of a panoply of things that they're offering here to the consumer. Let's just focus on the savings component for now. We can look into these other aspects at some other time. Uh, let's start off with the pros of this thing. Well, one of them is obviously the higher interest rate. Marcus by Goldman Sachs is giving you 3% right now. Now it is December 3rd of 2022. So whenever you're watching this, of course, you're going to have to check it out for yourself and see if they have, uh, you know, increased that maybe, or maybe they have uh, lowered it depending on the situation in the country. But you can see that not having a brick and mortar establishment, you cannot drive up into a Marcus by Goldman Sachs location, physical location. They also do not have ATM machines. But 3% has got your money working a lot harder for you than 0.25%. In fact, if we use our rule of 72, 72 divided by 3 equals 24. So your money is doubling a lot quicker than the 288 years it would take at 0.25%. All right, so they've got that higher than average savings and CD rate. Uh, Marcus is uh, the 3% annual percentage rate is approximately four times higher than the national average. And they, you know, again, are Goldman Sachs, so they're not trying to snow, snow you with this. Uh, this is a real interest rate that they are offering. You don't have to worry about any fees on the Marcus by Goldman Sachs savings account. So let's say you, you know, had to take that hit on those four flat tires and you depleted your balance by a little bit. Well, that's fine. You're not going to see any fees incurred for dropping below a specific balance. In fact, there are no fees. Uh, there are no monthly maintenance charges or anything like that for the savings account at this point. Soldiers, you can actually open a Marcus savings account with no money. Okay, now why you would do that, maybe just to get it started, you know, okay, fine. But there are going to be no penalties for that. You do want to fund it because, again, if this is serving as an emergency account, you want it to have some emergency funds in it, right? All right, so is this all roses? No, it does have some uh, challenges to it that may, uh, you know, be different from the banking relationships that you've had traditionally. Um First of all, this service does not offer checking accounts, okay? There are no checking accounts here. And I think one of the reasons why they don't want to get into that with this just yet is probably due to the fact that, you know, checking is a little bit more complex. And people tend to, you know, need that money much more frequently. And Marcus may want to set this up to something that's just, you know, money that's going to sit around for a while. That's going to be better for them in terms of being able to then loan that money out and make money off of it. There's no ATM network. Okay, so um, again, you will not drive into a brick and mortar establishment. You will not be able to physically interact with this institution in any way other than uh, what you would do online through their app or through their website. So uh, what that'll look like in terms of you being able to deposit money, you'll actually have to link another account to Marcus 
or you'll have to send in a check to them via U.S. mail. Okay, now I do like the first option, uh, which is just to link up another account to it, but that's how you would have to do it in order to get money in there and also to get money out of it. So you don't want them sending you a check that you got to run around town and you got to deposit and do all this and that. No, just link another account to it. That way, when you need to make a withdrawal, those funds will just show up in the linked account. Now, uh, it was taking Marcus about two days to prosecute a withdrawal or a deposit transaction. But I think they've got that down in some areas to uh, as much as or within 24 hours. So it's a lot more uh, convenient in terms of the ability to you know, get your money out quickly uh, because you know you can't run over to the local ATM and get money out from this savings account. And that's not a bad thing because what this arrangement does is it kind of prevents you from making the impulse purchase. If you know, hey, you know, I got to go through a little bit of a process in order to uh, get my hands on this money. So it lends itself to being a pretty decent uh, emergency account because, you know, you don't want to go through all of the changes. And by the time you do, you probably thought about that impulse purchase and said, yeah, it's really not worth it. I can just save my money in another way or wait on that and, and get that item later, especially if it's one of these depreciating items like a pair of shoes with a red bottom or a uh, Michael Jordan insignia on the side. Uh, that's something that's going to be depreciating. So you might want to hold off. I'm not saying don't do it, but just think about it. Now, at the end of the day, this offering is from one of the uh, most well-known, well-capitalized banking institutions in the world. Okay, Again, they've been out there for going on two centuries, uh, one just over 150 years. Uh, if you don't need a bank, if you're running into the bank every day, like if you got a small business, for example, and you're taking cash deposit to the bank and doing all this, Marcus may not be appropriate for that type of, uh, you know, that type of arrangement. Uh, if you need a personal loan with, you know, no fees and a fixed rate, maybe Marcus is for you. Again, they do offer other products, but again, we're really trying to focus on the savings piece here. So if you want a savings account, it's not difficult to access online, okay? Uh, this is it. It's got the high yield uh, in comparison to uh, other uh, brick and mortar institute, banking institutions. It's got the high yield uh, rates uh, and no, no minimum deposits, okay? No fees for that. You know, you're not going to get hit with 5 and $10 because you came in, you know, 50 cents under the minimum, now, when we talk about savings, we also got to mention certificates of deposit because that is a savings vehicle. And if we look at this chart here, we can see what Marcus is offering in terms of those CDs, uh, six months, nine months, on through six years of letting them hold your money. Uh, now, you got to be really careful with a CD. You got to pay attention to those terms. This shouldn't be money that you may need to get your hands on. So it might not be appropriate for an emergency fund. OK, it might just be appropriate for, you know, money that you want to you want it to hang out there for a little bit uh, until maybe you decide on a purchase of a home or a piece of uh, rental real estate or maybe investing it in business. So you want it to remain fairly liquid, making a decent amount of return, but not putting it into something that is more volatile, like, for example, the stock market, okay? Stock market is, you know, a place, an option for you, but a little bit more volatile, a lot more volatility than a savings account offered by a bank that said, hey, we're going to give you this particular interest rate. You keep your money in here for six years or uh, 18 months or what have you. Marcus does offer two flavors of CD, Certificate of Deposit. It has the high yield CD and the no penalty CD. The high yield version has more term options ranging from six months to 72 months. Both types have a minimum deposit of $500. Uh, the high yield also offers a 10 day CD rate guarantee. Open a CD and deposit at least $500 within 10 days. And even if the rate has gone up within that period, you'll automatically get the highest rate available in the 10 day period. OK, additionally, high yield CD holders have 30 days 
following the day they open the account to fully fund the CD. So if you come at it with $250, you got 30 days to, you know, deposit the remainder. All right, no penalty CDs don't have the same rates offered by the high yield CDs, but that's because you can withdraw the entire balance of your no penalty CD without giving up any of your interest, provided the CD has been fully funded for at least seven days. However, you cannot make a partial withdrawal from your no penalty CD. So if you're looking for a savings account and you're trying to you know, find the highest yield possible to get your money working as hard uh, for you as it can, I think, you know, in my opinion, not telling you what to do. Maybe you can use your, uh, maybe you can use this video as a portion of your due diligence. But for my money, Marcus seems like a good bet for the reasons we've mentioned. Uh, reputability, uh, well-capitalized institution. It's been out there forever. Options on these uh, savings accounts and CDs. And darn good rates in comparison with what we would find elsewhere for the purposes of a savings account. Now, I want you to take a look at this video. It's talking about a very, what I believe is a very risky option for your 401k. I want you to know about it because the last thing I want is for you to lose money. Watch this video and see what Fidelity has started allowing 401k investors or 401k account holders to invest in. Not a good idea. Be very careful out there. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.